Okay, so this is a quick preview of Tribes of Prax 2nd Edition, which will be coming out to you very soon. Uh, got it set up here for a free play game, though I'm soloing this at the moment. I'm also testing out a new simple AI system for the non-player controlled tribes as well. Um, so let's go see what's new for those of you who've been following development of this game for a while. Okay, well here are the rules. Um, still in playtest version. Um, they currently run to 30 pages, although actually there's only 18 pages of the rules. A lot of it are extensive examples. Um, so that's all ready to go, full colour, if anyone's interested in that. It's been a bit of a, a redesign of several of the cards. You'll notice the outline. So if we look at here, this is the Sable player. And this is sort of starting cards that they have. So first off, the information just about the Sable tribe and uh, what advantages the tribe has uh, and tribal disadvantages. Then each tribe has their protectress which this counter will be placed out using some of their power to um, guard their herds the founders um, which can be used to uh, prevent a calm being eliminated they can turn up and they can be used in spirit combat as well um, and the ancestors which help him raise and battles and a spirit you can call as well uh, the scenario i'm I'm playing at the moment or working through if I can find it is the main campaign game which is Khan of Khans so this is the, the sort of the, the larger is everything in it happening here so we're starting in a year after Moonbroth and the lunar invasion and goes on until the, the lunars disappear or shorter if you want to play a slightly shorter scenario um, so uh, each of the tribes begins with a random medicine bundle so in this case, um, the Sables are starting with Paps Cradle, which is a medicine bundle. A little bit of text there and it tells you what it can do here. So during the clan growth phase, counts as a rune on the clan growth table. Okay, so it's like rolling an extra rune. Uh, which of the dice have come to those in it haven't changed substantially. You can see all the card backs are sort of being redesigned. And so have the card fronts. Um, and there's a new mechanism for these two values at the bottom here. Okay, so the amount of power required that you need to have at least to um, ally this spirit. And these, as they build up, you keep a running total of them, in this case three. You have to have a minimum of three power to retain these spirits. If you ever go below three, you're going to have to start uh, returning them to their various spirit decks until you get to your limit. Okay, it's a nice little, another little mechanism just to uh, um, give the player some more options. Um, uh, you can see the treasure cards at the back there, of which the Paps Cradle was one. If we go across to the, um, the Impala, which is the other tribe that I'm running as a player, we can see they've got the Dung Urn, which doesn't really do much apart from gives them an extra power at the beginning of each turn. And they've got Gust Brand as their... Um, beginning spirit okay and just popping back to the sable so they're starting with this dust spirit this unnamed quite weak spirit here um, and moving across we can see the Mora camp almost my favorite tribe to play um, we've got the fear horn here as their medicine bundle and they've got a very low power sort of breeze spirit and air spirit there um, there hasn't really been any changes in the um, the spirits that are in the game so all the ones that you sort of you would expect to be in here so here's a selection of the um, tribes of Prax, spirits of the Prax, Paps um, which can only actually be um, gathered from the Paps temple itself be allied from there so all the ones you would expect are still there um, Again, these haven't changed. The um, independent tribes and magic societies. There's three players here, so two per player. These get drawn at the beginning of the year, and we can ally those as we go along. So those counters remain unchanged. Um, the condition cards have been extensively rewritten, and the one that's just been pulled out there, because I'm just about to start playing this actually, is the ever favourite Eternal Battle. Okay, great for some craziness to happen on the board here. So some text about it. Most of the text for these cards are on the cards, but for this particular one, the Eternal Battle, because there's quite a lot going on with it, this actually is, um, it tells you to refer to the rule book 
the back of the walls it has some extensive information on that but basically it's placed by the tribe of the lowest power at this moment in time power between the Morokanth and the Sables are the same so they rolled a die and the Morokanth got to place the eternal battle in some chaparralture here because you know this is going to move and, and general craziness will it ensure um, if you do survive the eternal battle you can actually ally some quite important um, units uh, I don't know if I've got them to hand here at the moment in these packets here but I know it's in, they're in the back of the rules there is the uh, Ghost Warriors, which is a strong unit, the Bodies of Old, which are really good because they just come back every turn. And the Avatar of Chaos, which uh, I don't know if anyone ever really likes the Avatar of Chaos. That's its own particular card. If that gets drawn, it hands from player to player, causing general craziness, as you can imagine. The board itself is pretty much unchanged. Uh, a few, we now have these herd limits here which is up for another review actually, so that's coming shortly, the game I played with a friend the other day. Um, and uh, there's a little bar here to show you um, another mechanism to do with the lunar attitude track, depending on how you get with the lunars. Um, and you can see the tribes are all set up here for the first game. Obviously we've got the, the Sables take their favoured place, because as we can see, currently they are allied with the lunars. Uh, the Morocamp, after taking fight in the, uh, sorry, not the Morocamp, the Impala at the top there, after taking place at a, taking part in the Battle of Moonbroth, uh, just above Hostile, uh, and most of them and the Bison have been driven into the wastes, or well, they do have a small presence in still in Prax. Um, other things that are new, um, you notice there's no um, hero board anymore. These are all now represented by cards for the hero quest. So, for instance, let's find one here. We have um, Aretha's hero quest, Deathstalk's Aretha. It tells you the benefits of passing it. And flipping over has the several stages that a hero must go on and the challenge they must pass to complete these particular um, hero quests. OK, and there's four of those. I seem to have them stuck underneath here. Uh, the adventure cards have also had an upgrade. Okay, they're the up front. So the backs to make them a little bit more interesting. The waiting mouth. Um, what else have we got? We've got the cultus of Thanatar. There's still three stage adventures that the um, that have to be passed. But through all of them, on some of the old favourites, the Templar Fed. There's another one around somewhere, but I don't know. It's uh, that's another hero quest card. That's um, Dakafell's hero quest card. Um, all the other things have sort of been updated as well. So we can see over there we've got the lunar battle cards. They've been updated. The spirit boards has been updated slightly, but it still works exactly the same. Just the power and status has been um, moved from the old hero quest board onto the God's Plane board onto here. Um, uh, another sort of substantial change is the rune dice. Okay. Previously there was uh, only two faces of runes on and now we have three faces so each dice has made my probability um, model a little bit easier to work on. So each has a 50% chance of rolling a rune and in the game you count the runes and the runes have an effect. Okay, so here we are. So hopefully I will be posting an update on this game as we go along um, and uh, as you know, the playtest progresses.